Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you two very cool Western Electric telephones and these are Paul's telephones from MA and this is the initial checkout of these two telephones. We're kind of showing them together because they came in together. And Paul has quite a little collection going on with antique and vintage telephones. He's got an intercom system at his home and it feeds some uh, outbuildings in a barn or two. And so he's got a pretty elaborate setup. And uh, these two telephones are very cool telephones. The very first one here is a 130, and this is a Western Electric, and it's better known as a donut telephone. So what we want to do is, I have everything apart, but of course we want to get a cloth receiver capsule cord going over to the base unit here. I have everything apart, so I'm going to show you a few things. If you notice, coming out of the donut is only one wire, because they were only using one wire and that would have been probably your positive and then they figured that the ground the whole telephone would be your other wire and that would be the ground so we have to change that because what we're going to do with the transmitter is I'm going to take this apart we're going to upgrade this transmitter now it may work uh, this is the initial checkout but to have the quality transmit and receive that Paul's going to need, we're going to have to change that. We're either going to go to a T1 or we're going to go to a amplified mic that uh, we build, a circuit that we build here in the shop, and that way he will not have to stand very close to the telephone and talk. We are going to return any parts that we remove from this unit, but we want him to have a quality conversation. So we want to set those two pieces to the side and I have the chrome lid or cover removed and I want to show you the inside of this telephone. Of course we have our hook switch here and then we have our type which is a 130 and then it just goes into some patent dates. But this is a very early telephone in the eight, late 1800s. Very cool telephone. So that gives you an idea, if you've never seen one of these, how that works. And when we upgrade this telephone, what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to bring out two wires because we do not want to use the uh, metal as one of the wires or the ground. So we're going to set these pieces to the side here because we're going to get a start on them anyway. Now the 102 I have a part and I want to grab that and swing it around. It's got an E1 handset on it which is very cool. And the cords seem to be pretty good on these telephones, at least the 102. And we're going to see if we can't use these cords. Uh, we'll get a modular port adapter on this line cord if we go back into the cord a little bit and make sure that there's no fraying going on or the cord is still pliable enough. If not, we'll replace it. The handset cord looks like it might be usable, but we'll know more about it when we get into the troubleshooting of the telephone. I want to give you a look at the inside of this telephone. And it's a basic 102. Very cool telephone. It has the round base and the E1 handset. 
So we're going to go ahead and get a start on these telephones. The 102 with an E1 handset, 130 called a donut telephone. These are two great telephones that Western Electric made and uh, we're going to get Paul taken care of on these. We're going to get some more video as we move along and we'll do our final check. We're going to start the donut phone first. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with a repair and conversion of these two telephones. We're going to run through a little bit about what went on with the donut telephone. We went ahead and upgraded the receiver capsule, so that's been taken care of. We installed a cloth on cloth cord, which would have been more to the period style cord that would have been on this telephone. At the shop, I designed a electronic transmitter that's amplified and we went ahead and installed that in the transmitter. We made the wiring connections that we needed. We also left Paul two leads so that when he hardwires this telephone into his system, he'll find on the inside where they're supposed to be connected to. So we're going to go ahead and start our final checks with this telephone right now. Since we have no way to dial out, we're going to use a tone dialer and we're going to call a time and temp number. So I want to go ahead and plug the unit in and give you some dial tone and we'll do that with the analyzer. Now we're going to go ahead and switch the switch box and we're going to call a time and temp number with a tone dialer. Electronics, 
You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.